Hello, welcome to Tala Talks NICU, where we break down complicated medical concepts and make them super easy for you to understand. Today's video is a really short one, but it's going to be a really, really helpful one. Today, I'm going to go over two equations that I personally use all the time and they create a really good shortcut. In fact, part of me didn't even really want to do a video on this because I feel like people just think I'm making these calculations really fast in my head. So watch on and we will save you time in the NICU. The first equation is a very quick calculation to kind of estimate what you can run the initial fluids at. So when a baby is being admitted, it's normally a little bit chaotic. Somebody's weighing the baby, somebody's setting up the respiratory equipment. Very often the doctors and the practitioners disappear off somewhere to write orders. So either you're the nurse and you can't find somebody to write the orders, or you just want to kind of get those fluids started before the baby becomes hypoglycemic. So this is a very good estimate of what the baby may need. And this is the simple equation. Take the baby's weight in kilograms and multiply it by three. And that will give you the mLs per hour that you need to run the fluids at, whether it's starter TPN or admission TPN, whatever you call it at your institution, or whether it's just D10. So the baby's weight in kilos times three is what you run the rate at in mils an hour. And I know you know this, but that's because 24, which is how many hours we have in a day, times three is 72 ml. So basically, if you're multiplying the weight by three, then you're roughly giving 72 ml per kilo per day. Like we've already discussed, a term kid generally needs a little bit less than that, kind of closer to 60 ml per kilo per day, so you can round down. And a preemie baby, often needs more than 72, kind of 80 or even 100 cc's per kilo per day. So you can round up or just add a little bit extra to that. So let's go over a couple of examples. I know that this is super easy, but we're just gonna bang that point in. So you admit a three kilo baby and you want to run fluids at a certain rate before somebody decides exactly what that needs to be set at. So three times three is nine. You run it at nine mLs an hour, which is about 72 mLs per kilo per day. Another example is you've just admitted a 30 week 1.2 kilo baby. So 1.2 times three is 3.6 mLs an hour. But you maybe want to give a little bit more for a preemie baby. So you randomly round it up to four mLs an hour. Four mLs an hour gives 80 mLs per kilo per day. So pretty much right where you'd want it. Last example, you admit a baby that's 3.9 kilos, a 41 week, a 3.9 kilo baby. 3.9 times three is 11.7. In this case, because it's a term baby, you decide to round down and you run it at 11 mLs an hour. 11 mLs an hour would give you just over 60 mLs per kilo per day. Very, very easy, but really super helpful and just a good way to just get fluids running until all the calculations are done. The second calculation is really helpful when you just quickly want to estimate whether a baby is getting a good amount of feeds whether you're on rounds or whether you've just inherited the baby from another nurse or if parents come up to you and they're like oh my baby's eating 20 mls every three hours what would be considered full feeds for my baby and you just want to come up with a number really quickly without getting out your phone or calculator or whatever let's assume for this that the babies are eating their full feeds are 160 mls per kilo per day which is kind of the upper end of what we're aiming for in most babies and then also let's assume that the babies are feeding Q3 hours. So they're feeding every three hours. So basically a baby is getting eight feedings in a day. Because 160, which is the mLs per kilo per day, divides by eight really nicely, it equals 20. It's a very easy way to calculate what amount the baby should be feeding every three hours. And basically the answer is going to be the weight times 20. Again, let's go over a couple of examples. So for example, if a baby is 2.3 kilos, then multiply 2.3 by 20, then you get 46 mLs. So for a 2.3 kilo baby to be on full feeds at 160 mLs per kilo per day, they need to be eating 46 mLs every three hours. And I know this is silly, but I'm gonna say it anyway. The way I do it is I do 2.3 times two, so it's 4.6, and then I move the decimal place, so it's 46. 
The second example is, is if a baby is 1.4 kilos, then what would be considered full feeds for a 1.4 kilo baby? So again, 1.4 times 20, so 1.4 times two is 2.8, and then times 10 is 28. So for a 1.4 kilo baby, 28 mils Q3 hours would be considered a full maximum feed. Sometimes if I know that I'm probably only going to be pushing towards 150 or even 140 mLs per kilo per day, then I'll just take off a couple of mLs, especially when parents are asking me, what are we really aiming for here? Okay, I hope that those equations are as helpful for you as they are for me. Again, remember to like and to subscribe if you haven't already, and let us know what you'd like to hear about next. We are still firmly in the fluid and electrolyte series. Thank you.